Good morning, everybody. We're gonna try this out today, see how it goes. See if we can do things a little bit differently today. So I'm gonna send you a review video of some things we did in math a long time ago. Expanded notation, a little bit of scientific notation, a little bit of exponents. I'm gonna send you the video, and then on page two, I'm gonna give you five or six problems to work through. Put your answers in Seesaw, and then we'll talk about new math later. Because right now we're gonna have, each day we're gonna have review math, and then new math. This is gonna be review math. So if you remember way back in September, October, I used to write numbers on the board. We had to break these out into their place values. We always start slow, right? Zach, what's one plus one? Good. And then we start kicking things up a notch. 10 squared. Sean, what's 10 squared? Good. And of course, I can't forget. 8 times 7? Cam, what's 8 times 7? Perfect. Used to make you yell it in the hallways. When we do expanded notation, you've got to break out each place as for what it's worth. So expanded notation is going to be 30,000 plus, what's the value of the 2? 2, 2,000 plus 400 plus a 10 plus an 8. And that's expanded notation. And that's all I'm going to ask you to do for the first couple. Okay? Now, once you have expanded notation, you can start breaking it down into scientific notation, if you can remember, okay? So you've got your 30,000 here, which is really a three times 10 to the one, two, three, fourth power. So you've got three times 10 to the fourth power. And remember, the brackets count as the quantity of two times 10 to the, one, two, third power because it's the thousands house plus four times ten to the second power plus one times ten to the first power and I ran out of room plus eight or eight times ten to the zero power don't worry I ran out of room I'm getting used to how this is gonna work okay so every time you see a standard form of a number, you can break it into the expanded form of the number and then get a little bit scientific. If I give you something to do the opposite with, and I give you 40,000 plus 9,000 plus 800, you're going to combine them by, you know, the easiest way to do it without messing it up is lining them up and then adding them up okay so it's a quick little review of ex this is called standard notation expanded notation a little bit of scientific notation and then we're just doing the opposite where you're giving the expanded and you get me back to what's called the standard form of the number okay so we started simple built up standard form but this is a total review from a long time ago so I'm going to send you this video and I'm gonna send you some quick problems to do on another page. Submit your work on the other page and then make sure you hit submit when you're putting it into Seesaw. I think a lot of you went to the grilled cheese and pepperoni sandwich on Friday, but you never submitted your work. So I'm missing some people's stuff. So when you're in Seesaw, make sure you submit the work, okay? So again, this is gonna be review math. And then I'm going to make a new math, and we're going to talk about the hierarchy of polygons, okay? Review math. I'll be sending it out in about five minutes, but that doesn't mean anything to you because I'm doing it right now, okay? How was your weekend? Good? Yeah? I didn't do a whole lot. No. Went for a walk, as usual. Didn't see my friends. Couldn't play with my friends, but that's okay. My daughter's home. We watched a lot of movies. She made a lot of pepperoni bread. So, all right? 
Review math. Keep an eye out for new math. Bye.